believe you want to transform into Ladybug. It'll be so much fun to be a superhero, defeat the bad guys, save the world. You want to transform into Cat Noir? Uh, no thank you. All right, well, looks like we're here at Ladybug's house. <laughs> Oh, hey, Mirabel. Hey, Isabella. Trying to save the world once again. Ladybug, is that really you? Yep. Not akumatized either. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, I have a huge favor to ask you. Well, you better hurry because I have to transform. Ladybug! Looks like my power is dying down. Yeah, I can see it in your earrings. Anyways, I really want to be a superhero for the day. Would you help me transform into Ladybug? Two Ladybugs defeating Hawk Moth? Cat Noir is going to love this. Caboodle fans, welcome back to my channel today. We are taking the lovely Mirabelle and we're going to transform her into Ladybug today. First things first, I need an outfit. Yes, you do, Mirabelle. Let's look in our closet. We've got a ton of Ladybugs. Which one would fit Mirabelle? We are definitely going to need a stretchier fabric because Mirabelle is a little bit bigger than Marinette. Looks like we've got different fabric. Let's see the first ladybug. Let's take a look at this fabric. It is stretchier, but I kind of want the polka dots all over Marinette. She does have the yo-yo too. <laughs> Let's see this one. This one has a nice stretch too, plus... It's red and black polka dots. This is exactly what we're looking for. So this one has sequins on the front. So she switches from Marinette to Ladybug, which would be really cool for Mirabelle. And the fabric is a little bit stretchier on the back, but not the sequin part. So we might not do that one. Also have this newer one. And oh, this is not stretchy at all, but the outfit is super shiny. I think I'm gonna use the yo-yo on this doll. This one talks, plus her earrings glow. <laughs> I wish we could add the sound to Mirabelle. So the one that I really like and we're gonna use is this outfit. So I really hope that this outfit is gonna fit fit on to Mirabelle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off and the feet too. All right, so here it is. It is really stretchy and that's exactly what we want. All right, Mirabelle, let's put on your ladybug outfit. <laughs> let's go ahead and start with the feet. Oh, wow. Oh, this is gonna look so awesome. Here we go, we're gonna try not to rip it. Okay, this is gonna be an issue because I feel like the fingers are gonna poke through the fabric. This is where our tape is gonna come in handy. I'm gonna go ahead and tape her hands here. I'm really gonna try to put the fingers all together. All right, there we go. Let's see if this is going to work. Oh, perfect. Come on, yes, we did it. I'm loving this fabric. Okay, I'm just gonna tape off her other hand too and carefully put this other hand through. Now let's go ahead and just put the top on right here. Okay, now we can remove the tape. I'm gonna use my X-Acto tool here. Didn't rip our fabric. And we have Velcro right here. So let's see if we can stretch this. Here we go. Oh my goodness, Mirabel is almost Ladybug. Let's take off her glasses. We've got this curly hair. Let's find some hair for her. I've got this light blue wig, and this is what we're gonna use today. Let's see. It's not gonna fit because we have all this hair on top of her head. So I have a lot of Mirabelle dolls. So this is actually strictly for this video because I'm gonna be using Mirabelle in other transformation videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut her hair because I want this wig to be glued on Mirabelle. So let's just get started. Please don't do this at home to your doll. All right, we've got most of it off. Let me just do the little pieces here and on this side. We want as much off because I want to glue on this wig on her. All right, I could go in and take off like the little hairs, but let's just go ahead and see if the wig is gonna fit on her head. I might just not glue it because I could fit different wigs on her head, like this purple one. We could fit that on for something too. So maybe I'm just gonna leave it like All this. Right. So Ladybug has pigtails in her hair. So let's go ahead and separate her hair into two sides, just like so. I've got two red elastics. I'm gonna do lower pigtails. That's how Ladybug usually has them. And this one. 
right? Okay, this is actually pretty cute. Let's try it on her. Oh my goodness. I actually really like, it's kind of like a teal color. So now what we need to do is we need to create a mask. We're gonna paint it on Mirabelle's face. So her mask is red with black polka dots. We also need some water and a couple brushes. So let me go ahead and open this up. Oh, that's a bright red. We don't want the hair to be full of paint. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off and let's get painting. I'm not gonna do anything with her eyes. So I literally just want a red mask around her. Well, that's drawing. Ladybug actually has red earrings. We're gonna put little red dots where the blue is. There we go. Looks like first coat is all dry. Let's do a second coat. This is our second coat. That's okay if the eyebrows show a little bit. Now I'm gonna paint on these spots. We're gonna carefully do this step. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. All right, now I'm gonna let these dry. So the mask has dried completely. Now let's go ahead and put on her hair. Here she is so far. She's missing two things. She's missing a yo-yo. All right, Mirabelle, let's go ahead and put this on you. There we go, awesome. And she's missing Tiki. Whoa, I'm Ladybug. Isabella, what do you think? Look, I even have the yo-yo. Uh, doesn't Ladybug have blue hair instead of teal? Hey, this is the best we could do. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. You really do look like Ladybug, Mirabelle. Ladybug? Oh, oh, uh, hi, Cat Noir. Wait, you look a little different. Nope, nope, it's me. Did you do something to your hair? Yep, I, I went to the salon. That's what I thought. <laughs>